In this video, I'll show you guys how to transfer files over to your server using Putty's PSFTP. So the advantage of this is it's going to be able to transfer um, files or your, you know, your website's files a lot faster than using regular FTP program where you watch them transfer over one by one. So this is going to be a lot faster and we're going to transfer a WordPress site um, in this example. So the first thing I'm, you need to do is download PuTTY, um, download just the suite of PuTTY programs. So you have PuTTY, PuTTY Gen, um, PSFTP. This site three is a WordPress site, um, pretty big WordPress site right there. And I've zip, zipped it up into this site3.zip. So the first thing we'll do is open up the PSFTP program. Um, I think we can make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so that's a little bit bigger now, and I'm just going to type open, and then I'm going to paste in um, my IP address. It's going to ask for your username and password. Um, for the password, when you're typing it, you won't see anything, but it's still working. That's just um, you know security precaution that the software takes. So I'm logged in right now. I could type um, PWD here to see where we are. And what I want to do is I want to CD over to my web folder. So um, var www.vhost. This will be different um, for everybody's server depending on their configuration. Um, in my case, I'm just going to type ls once more here. Um, it takes a little bit of time, the ls command in this for some reason. But I need to go into this HTTPD uh, docs folder. So I'm just going to type cd http docs okay and i'm just going to type um, ls there to take a look at it okay so we have an empty directory here we just see the period and the double periods so um, nothing in there right now so now that we're in the um, directory that we want to transfer to um, i'm just going to paste in um, another bit of code here so the first command is put and then after that, you put the um, directory in your local computer um, where your zip file or your tarball or whatever you're transferring on there, um, just where that's located. So I have my path there, and I'm just going to hit enter. And if it's successful, you see this local colon and then the um, correct path on your computer there, and then you'll see an arrow, and then the um, path, uh, the remote path you're, that you're transferring it to. So once you see this PSFTP um, show up again, that means um, you're all finished. You can type ls again here. And we'll now see um, site3.zip has been successfully transferred. So we're finished with PSFTP now. I'm going to open up the regular PuTTY client now and connect to my server there. Uh, this is a little bit small, so just bear with me. Maybe I'll zoom it when I'm editing this video. So once you've logged in there, just cd over to your uh, web folder again. So I've cd in there now. Let's take a look at it. We'll see that site3.zip. So all we have to do now is unzip that. Let's type ls again to take a look. So now we'll see the site3.zip and site3. Um, we don't need um, the zip anymore. We can remove it with rm. And we'll confirm that deletion. So all we have now is the site3 folder. Let's um, cd into that just to make sure it's got all of our WordPress stuff in it. So we can see all of the um, WordPress files there. I'm just going to go um, back up to the parent directory now. So we're in the HTTP doc folders again. So what I want to do now is I want to copy all of those um, files and folders um, recursively over from um, the site3 uh, folder that was created when we unzipped it. So we can do that by typing cp-rf. So we want to copy all of those files and folders recursively. And we don't want to be asked every single time, yes or no, do we want to transfer it? So you also want to put an F right there. And then you'll just type um, site3 slash star, and then a period, because we're transferring it over to the directory, directory that we're in currently, which is the HTTP docs one. So I'm just going to hit enter here. And let's type ls again. And now we'll see that all of those um, files have been recursively um, copied over to the parent directory, which is um, which is the one we want, the HTTP docs one. 
So the last thing we'll need to do is just remove that site three that's um, still hanging out there. And we'll just do that with rm-rf site three, ls again. And now that's been removed.